if all else fails, he can write a book, How to Ruin Your Career in Three Easy Steps. Officials say a high-ranking Georgia officer solicited prostitution from an undercover cop, bringing $180 and a pack of white claws as payment. You just want to go, come on, man. Have you lost the last three brain cells? Or do you just have cabbage for brains? Why would you do that? But that's not all. Polk County, Florida investigators say 49-year-old Jason DePrima was in town for a polygraph seminar. Well, let me introduce you to what I consider a high-profile arrest. This is Deputy Chief Jason DePrima of the Cartersville Police Department. As I understand it, after talking to his chief, he's been there almost 30 years. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says DePrima was a graduate of the FBI Academy and acted as Deputy Chief of Police Administration for the Cartersville Police Department in Georgia. He was even driving an unmarked undercover vehicle when he showed up for the would-be rendezvous. So ostensibly, this guy has come to have sex with a prostitute while driving the Cartersville Police Department undercover vehicle and he was in possession of alcohol, which of course, had we not intervened, he was going to drink that, engage in sexual conduct. But newsflash, this is Jason DePrima, 49 years of age, his picture at the Polk County Jail. But before DePrima was arrested, or he met up with who he thought was a prostitute, he was apparently scammed in a separate prostitute situation. He told her before the takedown occurred that the night before he had engaged with another prostitute online for $200. And that prostitute said, hey, go get a cash app card. You know, you can buy them at the convenience stores. And he did for $200. And then she said, I want you to take a photograph of it so I know you've got the money. Well, duh. He took a photograph and sent it to the alleged prostitute on Wednesday night, according to him. You're not going to believe this. You can't even believe this. Now, this guy's a cop. And he was flim-flammed and conned by a prostitute. That's right. She took the information off of the card, got the $200, and left him high and dry. The following night, Thursday, September 1st, DePrima was wary of being tricked again. Listen to his text. If you're legit as you seem, we will have fun. If not, I'm riding around with a case of White Claw feeling girly. Well, he got to feel arresty. Sheriff Judd says DePrima couldn't resist himself and showed up for the arranged sex anyway. He shows up with this white claw, and it's like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What is going on? You're a deputy chief, a high-ranking official in a very respected police department, and you're showing up with White Claw and two Bud Lights. But Polk County officials say he may not have understood the agreed-upon amount. And we're not sure whether he can do math or not, okay? Because the deal is for 120 for a half hour, a full half hour. He shows up with 180. He shows up with 180 and says, I can send you the rest of it on a cash app. I don't know if he's planning on extra time. He can't add. He wants to leave a tip. He wants to impress this person. But listen to his text. He's real suspicious. I guess you would be after you got ripped off the night before. Sheriff Judd also told reporters DePrima has a wife and family back home in Georgia. You would have thought as a high-ranking police officer, well-respected, he would have known better. But he didn't. And now he's got lots of issues. Home issues, work issues, criminal issues. 
What he's got going here is a situation. In the end, the entire ordeal cost De Prima a pretty penny. Had he behaved, had he stayed at his polygraph association meeting, he'd been fine. But he worked all week. And so right now, think about it. He lost $200 to the, to the prostitute that ripped him off in a flim flam, in a scam that he should have known, he should have known better on a lot of levels. Then he brought 200 more that we got, $400. Then he got misdemeanor charges. I, I mean, I mean, this is just insane. The whole thing is insane. When interviewed, De Prima admits sending texts to the investigator, but says he planned to hang out and watch football. I wanted to ask him, since he's a polygrapher and was at polygraph school, would you like to take a polygraph with those answers you gave us? De Prima now faces a misdemeanor count of soliciting a prostitute and has been suspended from the Cartersville Police Department pending an investigation. You would have thought as a high-ranking police officer, well-respected, he would have known better, but he didn't. And now he's got lots of issues, home issues, work issues, criminal issues. What he's got going here is a situation. For the latest developments in this case and all things true crime, stay with Long Crime Network. I'm Sierra Gillespie.